What is radiation and what is final disposal? Radiation has a negative connotation in everyday life. But radiation is actually a natural part of our environment. We emit radiation ourselves and are exposed to radiation constantly from such sources as radon, which is in indoor air, as well as from construction materials, space and food. The electronic equipment we use on a daily basis, as well as some of the examination equipment used in healthcare, also emit radiation. Even the display screen you are now watching exposes you to radiation. In other words, radiation is natural and not all radiation is hazardous. What matters is the manner, duration and the amount of radiation we're exposed to. In fact, it's easy to protect yourself from radiation, an adequate distance from the source, short times in the proximity of the radiation source, or a sufficient amount of material between you and the radiation source will reduce the effects of radiation. We often speak about radiation emitted by spent fuel in the context of production of nuclear electricity. It's true that spent nuclear fuel emits radiation, which is why long-term studies into the isolation of spent fuel from the environment have been conducted in Finland. When we talk about final disposal, we refer to the disposal of spent fuel in a way that ensures that people cannot be accidentally exposed to it. Final disposal may sound mysterious and complex, but it's really quite simple. This is how it's done in Olkiluoto. First, we place the spent fuel inside a copper capsule, which has an inner element of cast iron. We replace the air inside the capsule with protective gas and then we seal the capsule. We then transport the capsule to the final disposal facility excavated at a depth of more than 400 meters inside the bedrock. Once the capsule is in place, we surround it with expanding bentonite clay and finally we seal the tunnel. This is more than actually necessary as only a few meters of rock would be sufficient to stop radiation. However, the requirement is to implement final disposal in such a way that we'll never have to worry about it afterwards. This system of multiple barriers ensures that the final disposal will not be affected by human activity or natural disasters occurring above ground, and that no radiating substances can come into contact with nature or result in exposure to people now or in the future.